Hi, it's Elaine. Today I'm going to share with you these four cards I made. First, let's start with this one. I made this card. This is a birthday card. I made this for my little girl. She's my youngest and she's two years old. She's two years old now. So I made this for her and I used this stamp. I think this is a whimsy stamp. I really love her. And I think this is just the second time I used her. When I first bought this one, uh, I bought this one because uh, the first time I saw her, uh, I uh, I was thinking of my baby. Like, she's, I don't know, like the image, it just represents her. So that's why I used this one. I colored her with my um, Prisma colors, Prisma colored pencil, and I put some stickles. I'll, I'm, I'm not very good with Prisma colors yet, but I love um, the way her hair look like and I put some stickles on some of the flowers and the bows and in her dress as well okay and first this is a 6x6 uh, card and the paper that I use is from Prima it's the fairy rhymes and I put the the image with and the spell binders and stabilities die there and here are some fairy rhymes flowers from Prima but this butterfly this is from Recollections and as well as this uh, clock here and this one is a uh, I cut this out from the paper as well and on the side this is a trim and a lace so first I put this uh, eyelet lace at the bottom and then I put this trim with pearls in the middle so I got them from Hobby Lobby and I put a pink tool here with a flower and I made this little charm put the chain and I stamped this happy birthday and I laminated that one before I uh, cut it with my spell binders so it's a uh, it's stronger so, and I put this little crown here because she's our princess and at the bottom, this is just a wood uh, embellishment I got from Michaels. So that's my front. And the inside is just simple. Just like this one. I haven't uh, written my message yet. Okay. So that's my first card. And the second one is I had fun making this one. This is I made for a friend because uh, this is for her housewarming. So I made this card for her. She just moved in, uh, I think, two weeks ago. So I had fun. This is an easel card I made for her. And the paper that I use. Okay, I'm going to show you the paper. Oh, here it is. This is an old collection. This is from... Uh, this. That's not the one. That's the one. And so fun. It's like uh, You can use this for like kids layout and for their school layout. So that's what I use because I want fun and bright colors in this card. So, okay, I'm going to put this closer. Okay. So what I did was for the base, I just used this uh, dark green card stuff. And I put the paper and then after I cut it, I cut the, to make a window, I used the, the spell binders. Uh, die on that one so that I'm gonna have my window you can open it like that okay let's do this one first and here I cut it out from the paper as well just to have like a 3d effect and this says congrats I stamped that one and cut it one by one using I use this stamp here this is from Inka Dinka Do this one and I put a, a cord just so like it's hanging there and here's a butterfly I put some pearls there and this fence with flowers this is a sticker 3d stickers I got from Walmart a long time ago and I love using them and at the side I just put the silver mesh bling there so it's like that and when you open it 
the inside is this one. This is just a paper. I just stickle, put some stickles here. And this house, I just made it myself. I just draw and cut it out. And as well as the heart. And I just uh, use foam tape just to make it a little bit dimensional. So that's the inside. And for our messages, this is the same paper and I just wrote there. I got this quote from the internet. A house is made of walls and beams. A home is made, is built with love and dreams. Very cute. And I put the butterfly sticker there. And here I made a little pocket. Uh, actually, this is an envelope that I just covered. A small envelope I got from Michael's. Those coin envelopes. And I just covered it with a paper. And what I did is I made a tag. Because there, there's lots of us uh, who's going to uh, write message in here. So I just cut out uh, small tags from the paper as well. And we wrote our messages there. And I just bind them all with a... Uh, with this one, I, I forgot what you call this one. <laughs> anyway, and this dim holds ticket as well. Okay. I don't know. My mind is not working properly this morning. Anyway, that's that's the, the card I made for her. Okay, I cannot put it inside. And it just stands like that. I really love this. And I made two simple cards using my Prima papers. I'm hoarding my Prima papers, but I think I need to use them. I need to start using them now. First, this one, just a plain card. I use a purple cardstock and then I I matted it with a pink cardstock. And this paper is from Prima. It's the, I think it's the Firefly. And Juan, as well as this one, she gave this to me. J. Ho Clueless, she gave this paper to me. She sent it to me. She's so generous. Thank you, Juan. Okay, and this is an the greeting farm stamp. And Anya, I colored her with my Copics, and I paper piece her dress, and the bow, and the shoes here, and I put some stickles as well. I use this uh, spell binders, the stabilities here, and at the bottom I just put baby pink lace and on top the pleated trim and after I put this flat back pearls so and I put some flowers here from wild orchid crafts with some stickles so I put some pearls here that's it pretty simple easy to make but I think it looks she looks pretty there and uh, inside it's just a paper where we can write your message and the second one is this one. I use the Prima Romance Novel. I love this paper. And I use my gorgeous girl stamp in here. Colored her with my Copics. I paper piece to dress. And I put some bling to hair there. She's so pretty. So I use the black cardstock and then after I use the craft paper I distress the edges and stain it with my walnut stain and here's from I don't know it's so glary just gonna adjust it I use my romance novels I've said paper there and I use this black lace I think I really love this one but I don't have much I got this one from wild orchid craft pretty lace and I put flat back pearls at the side. Use this doily here and I don't know if you can see I put some bling all over. Oh here I also curl this up just so it looks distressed and I put a little lace there so just so it's like it's peeking there. And that's it for my card share for today. Hope you like it. And I love it. I really like this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day everyone. Bye.